Hi everyone, thanks for joining us again for your gymnastics at home. Please make sure, as always, that you've got enough space around you that you're not going to clatter into anything when you're doing your activities and that you've got parent permission to join in on the session today. So our focus is going to continue on the theme of balancing. Last week we spent time practicing balancing on one leg, using your posture and your core for that. Today's balances are going to be at floor level, so they're going to need a bit more upper body and core strength for these ones. So I'm looking forward to seeing how you get on with those today. Um, you're going to need a couple of cushions for the session, just for padding, but also to help with the activities. Um, our warm-up game, I'm going to actually use a cushion instead of a partner, because it's a game we usually play with a partner in club called Over Under Round. I quite like this game. So my partner is my cushion. If you have a partner, great, you can just take turns to do the activities. Otherwise, you and your cushion, you get to take every shot. So you listen for the instructions and then as quick as you can, follow them out and then make a nice star shape when you're finished. So if I was to say over, you've got to jump over the top. If I say under, you roll under your cushion. And if I say round, you've got to run around and then always finish in star shape. And I might throw in some extra exercises in there. So make sure you've got your listening ears on. So I'll do the first couple with you and then you're going to do them without my demonstration, see if you can remember them. So let's do a practice run. Let's just have over, under, around. So over the top, and under, and around. Finish as quick as you can. Good, right, let's do over, over, under, under. Challenge your brain, your memory. Around, under, around, over. And over. And finish. Excellent. Okay, and this time without me. Try over, under, over, under. Go. And how quickly can you get back to the finished position? Good. Let's go under, around, over, five jumping jacks. So it's under, around, over, five jumping jacks. to your finished position. Excellent. Okay, hopefully you remembered that one. We're getting a bit longer. A couple more, let's do around, around, under, five burpees. These are burpees. Okay, so it's around, around, under, five burpees. Go. And your finished position. Excellent. Right, so hopefully you're feeling a bit warmer now. Your dirt stretch, get your joints ready for gymnastics, working from top to bottom. So put your head over to one side and the other side. Oh, my neck creaked there, I must have slept funny. And chin on your chest. And look up to the ceiling. You should still be able to talk, so nice long neck. And chin on your chest, roll your head from side to side. And look over your shoulder. Keep your shoulders forwards and the other shoulder. And back to center, shrug your shoulders up, drop them down. Circle your shoulders backwards. And circle your arms backwards, bring your arms right past your ears, reaching up tall. And forwards. And we've got the hang of the one arm forwards and one arm backwards yet. 
if you have, try both directions. Good, okay, we're gonna reach over the top, side stretch. And then flat back, so we'll reach across your body. Reach down to your toe. Put your hands on the floor beside your foot. Remember, try and keep these legs nice and long. Don't bend your knees. You feel it stretch the back of your legs. Into the middle. Over to the other foot now. Into your leg, hands on the floor. And then come up. Hand above your knee, reach across your body with your front arm. So it's like our flat back position. And over into side stretch. Shoulders facing the front and up. So we'll go back the other way now. Over the top, reaching towards the wall. Flat back. Reaching across your body. Reach down to the floor. Feel it facing your leg. Into the middle, over the other leg, reaching across your body, front arm, and then arm over the top, reaching towards the wall, and back up. Good, let's sit and straddle. We're going to reach forwards five times towards Japana, and then we're going to hold at the bottom for 15. So, arms up by your ears, remember where should your knees be? Should be looking up to the ceiling, so no big toes on the floor. Reaching forwards, one, and back up. Try and lead with your hands when you come up. Two, and up. Not too wide a straddle, remember. Three, up, four, up, and then this time we're gonna hold for 15. One, two, three, four, Five, keep reaching, six, as far far as you can, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, can you get your belly button to the floor? Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and back up. Good. Bring the feet together. Just get your knees towards the floor. Hold your ankles, not your feet. Good, into pike, point your toes. Happy feet and pull them back. And then point them, and pull them back. And point them. Hands up by your ears, let's find our V-balance. Can you circle your wrists while you're in your V-balance? Can you circle your toes while you're in your V-balance? <laughs> Good work. Okay, onto your hands and knees. Circle over your wrists. So we're going to be using your hands quite a lot for the balances on the floor. So we want to get our wrists feeling warmed up well. Busy cat. And the other way. Good, and you're going to turn your hands or your paws in and out 10 times. So we'll go in, in, out, out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, clasp your hands together and just circle them off and make waves. And shake them. Good. Happy cat. Arch your back. Long neck. Angry cat, push up through your shoulders. Squish your arms into your ears. Happy cat. And angry cat. Stretch back. On your heels, press your armpits to the floor, and then push through. Keep your tummy muscles squeezed, and long neck lifting your head towards the ceiling. If you want to try and touch your toes to your head, give it a go. And we're going to do our splits first, so let's do our. I'm going to do my good leg first. I don't seem to do that, but. I think it makes me feel better that it's more flexible. So we're going to do our lunge, pushing your hip towards the floor. Good, and then a slightly different stretch today if you feel flexible enough to. 
You're gonna lean forwards onto your elbows inside of your legs. So I'm bringing my elbows to the ground if I can. If not, just stay on your hands. Probably go down and keep my knee beside my shoulder. And I'm back up. Without moving my front foot or my back knee, I'm just going to straighten my front leg and try and get my chest towards my leg. So I'm not sitting on my heel, I'm kneeling up on my back leg. Okay, and then keep your shoulders and hips square, don't let them twist. And down into your splits and hold for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Legs together, give them a wee shake. Do the other side. Start kneeling up, lunge forwards. Push your hips towards the floor. So I can see my toe ahead of my knee as well. Don't have your heel tucked in. And bring your shoulders down, hands in front of your foot and onto your elbows if you can. Find this is a little bit harder. Good, and then back up. One hand either side, straighten your leg without moving your feet, your heel or your knee. Chest towards your leg. You should feel this one stretching the back of the front leg here. And we'll go down into your splits. Keep your shoulders and your hips square. Slide it down. A little bit stiffer today. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Um, you might take a little shake. Okay, instead of our box splits this week, we're going to do our swim through. So we've already stretched our Japana. Uh, swim through kind of moves through box splits. Some of you will need to kind of rock backwards into it, but I'll try my best to demonstrate this skill without the roll. So you start as wide a straddle as you can manage, and you're going to push your heels backwards, so squeezing your bum as well. So squeeze your legs back as you lean forwards and reach through the middle to lie on your front. So it's not, I've not done this one in a while, so it's not going to be my best, but I'll give it a go. Reach forwards. If you can do it without your hands, great. Otherwise, you can use your hands fully to push through the middle. And then your elbows, if it's easier. And if you need the easiest version, the most help, is if you kind of rock backwards and then push with your hands to come through and then bring yourself together okay so whichever level you need to do and you can do that three times just now so starting in your straddle why did you can squeeze those heels back as you go in and then push through the middle bring your legs together at the back so ideally if you can do it without your hands that's excellent Really try not to cheat by turning one way more than the other because then you're twisting and you're using one side of your flexibility more than the other. You want to make sure you're using both sides. So keep your shoulders forwards and your hips forwards as you go. If you need to go higher, go higher to do it correctly. Okay, and then our bridge position. So remember you're not to rest on your head. If you find it too difficult to get up and you're not ready to do a bridge on your own, you can do your D stretch for your hips and your back instead. So lean back and hold your heels. Otherwise, if you're confident in bridge, you start lying on your back. Fingers towards your shoulders, heels in, feet flat on the floor. Like push.
Okay, and then once you've done that, rock and roll, make sure you've got enough space behind you. You're not going to bump into anything. Good. Right, so we've done our flexibility skills. Let's do our balance work now. So, as I say, it's these are a little bit more upper body strength, these skills. And most of you will have done them before. But I would love you to challenge them, see how strong you feel when you're doing it. So the first one is a frog balance. I'll recap all the technique in case you haven't done it before. And then we can try and challenge it at the end. So you start with your feet turned out. So if anyone's done ballet before, it's called first position. You need to make sure you pull from in here and squeeze your feet out of the way. And then you're going to go down into a diamond shape with your legs. So your knees point out the way. And with the back of your arms, you're going to press them into the back of the, the front of your legs above your knee. So this is kind of where the frog name comes from, I think. And this is a position you want to be in before you enter into balance, where your fingers spread out wide, ready to press the floor. And if you watch me the first time, make sure you've got a cushion if you need it, in case you fall forwards. You're going to press forwards onto your hands, tip your head forwards to lean into it, point your toes and find your balance. And then you can come back up to finish. So the whole time, my arms are actually bent in this balance. There's not many skills where we have bent arm skills in gymnastics, but this is one of them. And you're going to keep the sort of pressure through your whole hands. So that you're balancing using your fingers like claws onto the floor. So try it with me this time. Feet turned out, diamond with your legs, spread your fingers out wide, press the back of your arms above your elbows in the front of your knees, place your hands down and slowly lean to tip before you point your toes. And come back up to finish. Good work. Okay, so hopefully you've managed to stay up on that one and didn't collapse forwards. If you're collapsing, don't worry, it takes a lot of practice to find enough strength and balance at the same time. So it might not be that you're not strong enough, but you just can't find the balance position. Or if you're not quite strong enough, but you can balance it, it's hard to hold it. So it'll take time, keep practicing. Our next skill is our headstands. So um, I want you to watch my demonstration first and think about the shape that I make going into my headstand first, okay? I don't know if you can hear my cats meowing in the background there. So this shape here you can see the triangle there and um, there are two triangles to work into the headstand first one is with your head in your hands so as you can see my head was on a cushion and my hands were in front of the cushion so there's a triangle from where my head was down to my hands and then the second triangle is when I lift my hips up because I'm not going to jump into it and that makes it controlled so we're going to do that with me this time nice and slow and controlled and then I lift one leg in at a time and just into a tuck headstand, please. Okay, so <clears throat> you place your hands on the ground, head onto the pillow, lift your hips slowly into another triangle, walk your feet in if you need to, one leg in, other leg in, and hold. And back down the way we went up. So we really want to keep leaning on our hands the whole time. If you don't use your arms properly and just collapse, then it'll come back down this way. If you push your arms straight, you'll go over the top. So we need to find the right position. And make sure you've got a nice long neck, you're not tucking your chin in, because if you tuck your head in, you're going to forward roll, okay? I'm doing it in front of my sofa, but if you don't have a sofa, you can just put your cushion in front in case you go over the top. Hopefully you're not going over and you're just coming back down the way we went up. So let's try that one, one more time with me. If you feel really stable and balanced, you can start to bring your legs up into a straight position, but making sure your back doesn't change shape. 
You keep your core really, really tight, okay? So triangle with my head and my hands. Lift your hips. Walk your feet in. Tuck couch down first. And straighten out if you can, only if you're balanced. And back down. Good work, okay. So, a little challenge to practice now. Keep one cushion in case I go over. We're gonna do, or I'll need two actually, I need one for my head and one for my over the top. Not that I'm gonna go over the top. We're gonna do a frog balance. So a lot of you have done this for your British Gymnastics Awards badges, but it's always good to go back to because it works your upper body really well. We're gonna do our frog balance, lift up into our headstand and back down into frog balance. So starting standing up, remember all our positions for our frog balance. You might just want to watch the first time. Okay, so give it a try with me this time. It takes quite a lot of energy to try and remember to breathe. Okay, so position first, diamond, frog, lean slowly into your balance. Find your balance first, and then tilt forwards, lift your hips, tuck those knees up, come back down to your elbows, and lift your head. Oh. Excellent. Okay, good work if you manage to do that. Don't worry if not, keep practicing. It takes quite a lot of control and strength in your upper body. Give your wrist a little stretch. Do you feel that one in my wrists? And your arms. Okay, thanks for joining us. Hope you had fun. Please send us some pictures of you working at home as well. We'd love to see them. And we'll see you again next week.